What is going on, beautiful people? We have another day. Just got done working out. Just got done hitting tricep, man. And these workouts are starting to really uh, make a difference in my body, and it's dope. Even got some compliments in the gym today by two different people, not just one, because I decided to wear a beater for the first time. And my shoulders are really starting to come in. And this dude was like, damn, man, what happened to your shoulders? I was like, I thought he was talking about a scratch or something. He was just talking about how jacked they look. He was like, uh, he's like, I wear tank top too if I, my shoulders look like that. And he started messing with me. Uh, but no, it felt good, man. You know what I'm saying? That means these workouts are actually paying off. <clears throat> and honestly, I think it's the body weight. I'm 180 now and the mass is starting to, to come on shockingly even though it takes so much food it's ridiculous but it's starting to make a difference so that's freaking awesome man and that's what it's all about um just building a stronger person that's all building a stronger better person mentally physically emotionally um and it's because i have to you know what i'm saying because i always want to go forward and i'm a i'm a father too man uh, if your baby's watching, you know, I want my kid to have memories of me working out and being physically active and me being of, of good health and, you know, a, a good mind, spirit, and, you know, have a real good soul, too. You know, you want to be mentally, mentally at peace. And the gym allows me to not only, you know, uh, relieve my stress, it also allows me to, like, build a stronger, like, a stronger vehicle. You know, this... This body, we only get one body, unfortunately, and I'm starting to get older. I'm not old yet. I'm I'm in the beginning stages of becoming an old head. I'm 27, but I, I can feel my body a lot more. I'm in tune with my body a lot more. I have to stretch and warm up. It's not like how when I was a young boy, I could hop up on the bench and just, you know, I could just go straight to maxing out, you know, and I wouldn't have to worry about pulling anything or anything stupid. Uh, nowadays, I could never do stuff like that. You know, just start a workout without even warming up, just getting straight into it. Those days are long behind me, but I can still build muscle and you can too, or if you want to lose weight or just get in better shape, whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it too. It just takes, it just takes a little bit of work, you know? And I, I have weights at home as well, which makes it a lot easier in case I can't make it to the gym. And, you know, being a parent, it's it's harder than ever to do it. And I understand why people get out of shape once they have children, once they get older. Responsibilities start to increase. Natural energy starts to go down. Um, you know, it is what it is, man. It's life. And that's what this channel's about. Life can be pretty difficult, you know, and it honestly will never get easier. I have come at peace with knowing that life will never get easier. Um, it's only going to get harder. And the best thing that I could do for me and everyone around me is for me to get stronger, you know? Um, unfortunately, you have to have better endurance to be able to get stronger for your situation to get better. Uh, no one's gonna come around and, you know, pick you up and, and coddle you and just pluck you out of trouble, you know? You've gotta, you've gotta get yourself out of trouble. You gotta pick up that ax and start swinging, you know? You gotta slay your own dragon. And it doesn't necessarily have to be even fitness related. I, I have many dragons, you know, I have financial dragons. I have a career dragon I'm trying to slay right now. I, uh, I have a very stressful job as many people do. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it's customer service oriented, which means, you know, you gotta deal with people on the phone. And I just don't like how people talk to me on the phone because they would never talk to me in such a way in person. So, you know, I don't like that. I feel like that's not good for my mental health. So I'm just making some adjustments and I'm, I'm working on that as well. Um, even YouTube, I have a YouTube dragon. I, I honestly, I quit doing YouTube for a whole day. I was, I was almost about to take all my videos down um, because they changed the requirements for, um, to be, to be uh, monetized. You need a thousand subs and you need 4,000 hours of views within a year. And I thought it was just 4,000 in general. I might've read it wrong, who knows? But I'm like, man, it's gonna be really tough. And I was like, it's gonna be a waste of time. I'm gonna stop doing this. And then I just kept on doing it, you know? <laughs> I've been already, I'm already almost 800 videos deep. I don't see, I don't see how this is gonna hurt anything, you know? Me stopping certainly isn't gonna help. So I'm like, hey, gotta keep going, man. Even when it ain't looking too good. Um, but yeah, man, it's just what we're doing. Um, we inside the gym about five, six days a week, trying to gain more weight. Um, anybody that's trying to struggle to gain weight the way I struggle, the, the cheat code is, is if you just shove your face full of high carb foods 
and drink a mass gainer, drink a whole bunch of water, alkaline water to be specific, take L-glutamine powder and creatine. It don't matter what supplement company, but um, you get it from, but you take those two supplements and you eat a lot and you lift heavy, you'll get bigger. Your body has no choice but to respond. Um, and mine's is responding. Who, know, who knew? Who knew? I, I thought it was going to be way harder for me to get to 190, uh, 192, because that's my goal weight. And it turned out to be easier than I thought. I mean, you'll definitely have stomach aches from having to uh, eat so much. And, you know, going to the bathroom might not always be a good time because that's a lot of food to be pushing out your bunghole. But you'll, that, that weight will come on, man. That weight will come on. But um, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I hope you're in good head spaces. When I was in the gym today, I was telling myself, I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to have a good workout. Work's going to go fast. Um, I'm going to be aggressive at work. I'm going to have a wonderful day. Um, I'm, I, I just talk to myself positively. I just say I'm smart. I'm strong. I'm fast. I, I have endurance. This is not, this is light work. This is light work. Whatever it is, it's light work. You know, point to the easy work. And there, and there, I point. I was, I was doing dumbbells. I was point to the easy work in my head, and I pointed to the dumbbells. I was looking crazy in the gym. All right, I'm over here pointing at dumbbells and pointing at the weight before I lift it. But it just it makes me feel better. You know, I, I mumble to myself in the gym. I've done it for a while, but it just keeps it just keeps me locked in. Like you know, I'll be like, all right. I was like, don't be. I'll be about to do a set. I'll be like, don't be lazy. Cause I don't want, I don't want to like, you know, give up too early. I don't want to lose focus or tell myself not to be lazy, which then pisses me off because I'm like, I'm not lazy. And then I get it done. You know, I, I put in maximum effort. I'm completely focused on the weight, the way I'm, the way I'm gripping it, how explosive I am coming up, how I'm handling the weight on the way down, making sure I squeeze up at the top, you know, the little details, you know, um, that you can only get if you're locked in and if you're focused. So I just try to, uh, add more positive talk. Um, is when, when I'm talking to myself, especially in the morning, how you start your day uh, really has a major effect and influence on how the rest of the day goes. I'm not going to hold you guys because I myself have to get to work. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, man. Um, I'm not a bodybuilder or anything. I'm just a, a dude just trying to build a stronger person, a stronger man, a stronger father, a stronger brother, a stronger son, a stronger friend. Um, I have many things. Working out is not my whole life. This is just a small segment of it. I cover a lot of fitness stuff because it's easy content to throw up. I'm trying to get into shape so I get to vlog my my uh, my experience and my journey, kind of like a journal entry. It's a great way to keep uh, keep logs of how you're feeling, your headspace, how your workouts are going, how your diet's going. Um, all those little details are a lot easier to track uh, because when you have a whole bunch of videos in your phone, they're not always in numerical order. When you post them on YouTube, it's like a timeline. It's just great. It's effective and it works for me. If you haven't done it, you should try it. Some people like TikTok, some people like Instagram. There are many different forms that you can do, many different platforms you could do this on. Hope you guys have a great week. Please hit that like button. Please hit the sub button. If you like this type of content, uh, shoot, hit the dislike button and, and go ahead and troll me in the comments if you want. It all helps the algorithm them. Hope you guys have a good week. I'm out. Peace.